Hello dear students, hope you are doing well. I am Muna Miss and today we are going to see a very important topic that is good touch and bad touch. Good touch is a safe touch whereas a bad touch is unsafe touch. So we will see more about it. What happens when somebody gets a good touch? How do you feel when you have a bad touch? All these things we are going to see today and you have to learn many things from it. So, first of all, what do you mean by the word good and what do you mean by the word bad? So, teacher says very good. That means it is a proud feeling. You always like to get good comments and when teacher points out that something is bad, that means it is not accepted. You should not get bad comments. You should not behave badly so this is basically good and bad now let's see some more things touches and feelings what do you mean when somebody touches you suppose your aunt who stays very far from your place and nowadays what has happened we are at home due to corona suppose your relatives they come and meet you after a long time the first thing they do is they come and hug you they kiss you, your grandparents, no? So they touch you, they kiss you and you feel very happy. It's your birthday. On your birthday, your mommy, daddy, they wish you, they hug you, they kiss you and you like it. So they touch you and you feel happy. So we are going to see the touches and when somebody touches you, how do you feel? So touches and feelings are correlated. When somebody touches you, you feel very proud. Suppose uh, you are not very good in studies but one day you complete everything and you show it to the teacher she feels very happy for you she gives you a pat on your back no she says very good and you become very happy that touch is making you feel happy so we are going to see a good touch and bad touch and you all are very smart you automatically understand the good touch and bad touch but you also need to be educated for the same good touch a good touch for me is when someone gives me a hug or says hi so you like it your friends family members when somebody meets me and gives me a hug and say hi i'm so happy so what about you i know that you also surely must be feeling very happy when your mommy daddy they take you close to them right so that is a good touch okay i hope this is clear then bad touch bad touch for me is when somebody hits me somebody is beating me so i will not like it or someone who i don't know touches me when i don't want to be touched i don't know a person but still is trying to touch me or someone touches me where i don't want to be touched these are bad touches what do you think about it what do you think about a bad touch so when somebody beats you hits you you don't like it and then maybe you are going to the market and there are so many people around you don't know a person or some maybe your parents uh, friends have come you have seen them for the first time but still they come and touch you and kiss you so you don't like you say i don't know this person why is he kissing me why is he hugging me so you don't like it you feel that as a bad touch now let's see deep into it you should be educated about it who according to you will give you a good touch or what kind of touch will they give you you just have to think quickly which are the people who can touch you in a good way and uh, if they touch you in a good way if it is a good touch like your parents grandparents so what kind of touch it will be like what all things they'll be doing you just have to think quickly and then i'll be explaining you about the same like if you talk about me, according to me, good touch and bad touch. The people who can touch me are my family members, my friends, those who know me. So they can hug me, they can touch me, they can shake hands with me and I will like it. But now you also have to think about it. And who according to you will give you a bad touch? What kind of touch will they give you? So, first I'll talk about myself. If I don't know a person and he's still coming and talking to me, shaking hands, hugging me, you know, trying to be very friendly, so that I will feel as bad touch. Strangers usually give 
that kind of touch. Now, how many of us like hugs, kisses and touches from people we know, love and trust? Like we all love to be with our mom, right? We like to go and uh, sleep on her laps. We like to hug her. We like to kiss her. We like to be with our grandparents, no? So we all, almost everybody likes to hug, kiss and touch the people whom we trust, like our parents, friends. Hmm? Now, we have to be careful also at times. Why? That is coming up very quickly. Okay, how about those same kinds of touches from people we don't trust, we don't know and we don't like? Example, you don't know there's a stranger but maybe that person knows your grandmom and then that, that person comes close to you, hugs you, says how are you and then kisses you. So, we actually don't like this kind of people and the touches from them. So, what do you feel at this times and what are your thinkings? This is what we'll be seeing. When we get touches, we get feelings inside. Good touches is just good feelings like your teachers, parents, relatives. When they touch you, you feel good. And in the same way, when somebody touches you and you don't feel better inside, you feel negativity, you don't like the way they touch you. So that are bad touches. Sometimes bad touches makes us feel very bad. We feel frightened, sad, unwanted, unloved and all negative things come into our mind. This only happens when somebody gives you a bad touch. So that's why you start thinking negatively like you feel very very sad. But you should never feel like this. And we'll see if somebody gives you a bad touch, touches you badly, what all things you should do. We will see it in this session. So, pay attention to each and everything which is being told here. If you feel frightened, unloved, unwanted when somebody is touching you, so what all things you should do? How can you take care of yourself? Okay, you can see Tom and Jerry there. So, we will see what we are supposed to do. Then, you liked to be tickled. Tickled manje gudgulya karne. So, if you like to be tickled, how many of us do not like being tickled? If some of them like, there are some others who don't like. But those of us who like being tickled, is that a good touch or a bad touch? Obviously, that is a good touch. Your relatives, friends, no? They do it and then you start laughing. And for those who don't like being tickled, is that a good or a bad touch? Obviously, it is a good if they do it from the parents and relatives. Otherwise, they don't like it. Tickling, sometimes even when we think tickling is a good touch, it can become a bad touch. Before we get started, and as you listen, you should give a thumbs up and a thumbs down sign. You all know, thumbs up means good, thumbs down means bad. Good. Now, if you like something, you have to show me a thumbs up. If you don't like, thumbs down. When tickling becomes a bad touch, no? When it is bad, when it is very long, somebody is tickling you for a long time and then it is very hard. When it's paining, it starts hurting you, you start to cry, it gets hard to breathe. You are being touched to your private areas. Strangers like bus attendants, drivers or lift men try to tickle you. So that is a bad touch. You can make the call. If you get a touch you don't like, what it is called? A bad touch. You are the one who decides what makes you uneasy. Maybe some other might be liking but you don't like. So it is a bad touch for you. And you are the only person who can decide it for yourself. No one else will tell you whether it is good or bad. So you have to think for yourself. You have to understand what is happening with you and then you can decide make sure nobody touches you on your private part except your parents your private parts are those parts which you keep hidden all the time yeah we'll see in more details but only your parents are supposed to touch you and in case you visit to the hospital 
the doctors can touch your private parts to check you up with your parents along with you okay so you have to take care if someone gives you a bad touch then whom you can tell whom should you tell about it you can tell your parents grandparents teachers or other trusted adults never hide it always speak up that you are being touched badly by some person that person may say don't tell anybody i will do this i'll do that but no you should not believe them you should straight away go and tell your parents or your grandparents teachers or any elderly person will it ever be your fault if someone tried to break a touching rule with you no somebody is touching you and you are not liking it is it your fault not at all it's not your fault it's the fault of the person who is done it who's doing it who did it that person's fault that he is doing it in a wrong way it is never your mistake now these are your private parts keep in mind four parts on your body are your private parts your chest your bottom that is your bum and between the legs nobody should ever touch you there except your parents only your parents can touch you no if you have some problem you show it to your parents they take you to the doctor then the doctor can see it but no one else except them can touch if somebody does it you have to shout in a loud voice no you should go to a safer place with other people no where there are many people around you you should go and stand in that place in a crowd and then you should always tell it to a person whom you trust any adult person your parents anybody but never keep mum good touch and bad touch how can you come to know the difference we have seen it but once again just a quick revision of all those things okay so you have to pay attention take care of yourself and the most important thing if you find something is happening with you like this quickly go and inform it to your parents or anybody who is an adult don't hide these things touches and feelings what do they mean somebody touches you and you feel something so it is interrelated or correlated when somebody touches you there is immediately some feeling and you should understand how you are feeling for it okay judge yourself nobody else is going to tell you is it a good or a bad touch but you will come to know immediately so you have to take care of yourself a good touch is when somebody says you hi hello hugs you and then you can be very friendly with that person because you know that person you have to take care that there is a limitation between every touch as we have seen the private parts nobody should touch you there then we'll see something about bad touch once again bad touch is someone hitting right we have seen it someone is touching you when you don't want to be touched or someone is touching you where you don't want to be touched correct if you feel children i am telling you again if anybody is facing any problem you can directly text me on whatsapp you can uh, tell your class teacher comment me anybody we all in the school are there for you so we all like you no know, to be hugged kissed touched but we all enjoy it when we know the people when we know they are our friends they are our relatives so if somebody stranger is doing it you have to inform shout scream say no and take care of yourself by going to a crowded place or being with people all around you so you have kept yourself safe so when you find that the people who are touching you are not known to you are strangers so you can see jumbo is telling you that you should shout aloud and say stop 
screen yeah let everybody understand you know the most important thing of this people no who are giving bad touch they show that they are not scared at all and they will harm you but they are actually very scared because if you tell it to someone they will be punished so they will tell you don't tell don't tell but it is the most important thing that you have to do tell shout scream and bring it to the notice of others good touches gives us good feelings as we have seen you will be feeling very happy when you go close to your mom when your grandmother or grandfather is taking you close so you feel happy from within and bad touches will make you feel the about things as we have seen this is just a quick revision so that you can understand about it take all things in mind you will have to decide what you are feeling if you are feeling uncomfortable you have to bring it to the notice of an adult or your parents and your parents always believe you so you have to take care of yourself and tell it so we have seen this no tickling is a time when you enjoy but tickling when somebody else tickles you or some particular person tickles you you don't like it so you have to tell your mummy mummy please tell this uncle or this uh, brother or this uh, whatever he is you you should tell him mummy mummy he is doing it very in a bad way i don't like it i feel uncomfortable and then your mummy and daddy will look into it and they'll help you out with it so it is your first duty to tell it to them so that they can help you out okay so you have to be careful take care of yourself so most of these things are told to you you should take care of yourself and bring it to the notice i'll just tell you a short story so there was a girl and she used to stay with her parents mummy and daddy both would go for work outside and they had a neighbor in the neighboring that uncle used to live all alone and that uncle's daughter was this girl's friend so they would always be together these girls and that friend's mom was not there so what this uncle used to do as he would take care of his daughter he would show that he also takes care of this girl so he would touch kiss her no like her father used to do but she would feel it that my dad when he is touching me i don't feel like this i don't feel bad so one day she went and complained then her parents no they told about this to that police and then the police punished this uncle because he was doing wrong things so your parents are always with you they always take care of you you should bring it to their notice now no one can touch you to the private body parts as i told you i showed you parents grandparents and doctors they do this to keep you healthy and keep you clean so no one else than your parents grandparents should tell you if someone gives you a bad touch if you find uncomfortable it can be anybody neighbor sometimes if you go to tuition to a male person or anybody who you must be knowing since childhood or since you were small but still they do it so you have to tell it to your parents so these are your private parts as i had showed you good touch and bad touch red means stop no i am not liking the way you are touching and green means okay i am comfortable with it shaking hands no hugging but if you feel bad you should bring it to the notice if you feel that you are really facing some problem tell it to your teachers we are there we'll help you out with it nobody should touch you to your chest between the legs and hips that is behind back side that is very very sensitive and private part if you find anybody is trying to do it or doing it please children you should tell it at the earliest those people may be scaring you if you do this i will do this if you do this i'll kidnap your sister if you do this i'll tell your name don't worry you have not done anything wrong okay 
so there are the parts of a body which are good for touch like if somebody touches your hands shaking hands no that is a good touch fine no problem at all but as shown as told no one should touch your private parts okay is it clear i hope this is helpful and you all are understanding yet if you have any doubts regarding it if you face any problems regarding it please ask me you all have my whatsapp number you can tell me your problems and i'll surely help you out we in the school will look into the matter we will talk to your parents and if you feel that you don't want to tell it to us you can tell it to your parents but please speak up okay see these are the parts of the body which you might not like people to touch like your face your shoulders your stomach your thighs and your feet you will not like if anybody is touching so if you find something is happening like this tell it that is the only thing you can do and rest of the things would be managed by your parents okay so this is all about good touch and bad touch i hope you have understood it <clears throat> so these are the parts of our body which are bad to touch chest between the legs and your hips so these are the private parts and we should not touch anybody there or we should not allow anyone else to touch us over there okay i hope it is clear so do remember all the good not so good and bad touches do take care of yourself and in case you find that somebody is doing it to you then don't allow them to do so you can see the pink color that is the hands it is good touch the orange color is not so good means you won't like it like the face shoulders stomach and thighs but the bad touches are the ones on your chest between the legs and hips so take care don't allow anybody to do it and if you find somebody is purposely doing it just tell it to someone sometimes people will need to touch to your private parts this should only happen when you need help like you are in the washroom you are at the doctor so and in this cases you can allow them to do but usually it is under the observation of your parents okay your parents are there and then they see the doctor so you are quite safe otherwise don't allow anybody touching rules no one should touch the private parts ex- except to keep you clean and healthy never agree to keep it secret never ever agree that that person will say i'll give you one chocolate you should not tell anybody okay so that is wrong let him give you 10 chocolates 100 chocolates but you should tell it and tell it to somebody whom you trust always speak up i hope this is really helpful for you if you have any problems please tell it to us we'll help you out with it take care children you all are grown up you need to know all these things and take care of yourself ask help from your parents and they are always there to help you out if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask it in comments thank you have a wonderful day